Here's a sobering statistic. Nearly 10,000 people die in the U.S. each year due to crashes involving alcohol-impaired drivers, and another 173,000 are injured. Can pocket breathalyzer devices help curb drunk driving? Depends on how they're used. There's a new device called Alcohood that attaches to smartphones through the headphone jack. After you breathe into a small plastic tube, it provides a reading on your blood alcohol concentration, your BAC. There are similar devices on the market, including one called Breathometer, but Alcohut claims to be more accurate, a claim that Breathometer doesn't dispute. Alcohut says in third-party testing, the device met government standards for alcohol screening devices used by police. What technology is that? They're called fuel cell sensors. They measure a chemical reaction that takes place inside the breathalyzer when a person breathes into it. Ready? I talked to my colleague Juhi Desai into helping me test Alcohut. We took our first reading in the office. She got a .0 reading. That's good news. Then it was time to really put Alcohut through the paces. After two vodka ginger ales, Juhi blows a .065. So she's still below 0.08, the legal limit in most states. But after a third vodka ginger, she was up to a 0.125. That's DUI territory. So what do you think? You ready to get behind the wheel? Yeah, let's do it. No, there was no road test, but after Judy finished her last drink, another test revealed her BAC was already going down. So should you rely on Alcohoot to decide whether it's safe to get behind the wheel? Alcohoot, in its own disclaimer, says no. So does Mothers Against Drug Driving, telling us they're concerned. Do people actually use these devices to see how much they can actually drink and how much they can consume? A bad idea, Mad says, because you can be an impaired driver even below 0.08 and... Devices like that have to be calibrated. Calibrated for accuracy, the way police breathalyzers are regularly in order to have their results admissible in court. Alcohoot's response, their device remains reliable for up to a thousand tests or one year. What do the police think of devices like Alcohoot? The national head of the Association of Police Organizations says, I think these devices would be dangerously misleading to a drinking driver because staying below a numeric limit doesn't exempt you from being charged with a DUI. Like if an officer, for example, observes slurred speech, bloodshot eyes, and erratic driving. Bottom line, use a device like Alcohoot at your own risk because blaming the device if you get pulled over or in an accident probably won't fly. That's the short answer.